Hello and welcome to another video demonstration for another Game Maker asset that I have built. Call this one the Super Smash Cam. And the reason for that is it was inspired by the view or the camera that is used in the video game series for Super Smash Brothers. Within the frame here you'll see that we have two players, a red and a green player, which we can control the red one using WASD, and the green guy we can use the arrows for. You'll notice in the center of the screen there, there's a blue icon, or the blue little heads up icon for COM or center of mass. And this is always gonna be between all the players that you have. And from this, the camera, that red little square, chases after the COM or the center of mass between the two players. Uh, you may have noticed that the tweening of the motion of the camera it's very smooth, it's got a slow acceleration, gets up to speed, and then it will slow down again or ease out. And this is just simply a cubic ease in, ease out, uh, not algorithm, but equation. Within the code for this asset, you'll find a link for a website that contains all sorts of different equations from linear to cubic, quadratic, quintet, whatever you want. There's all sorts of different motions, but for this demonstration, I prefer to use the cubic because it's easy to compute and it's very pleasing on the eyes. The red and blue boxes that you see are the zoom in and zoom out boundaries. Depending on the most extreme, I guess, player position relative to these boxes, you'll either get the zoom in or zoom out. Um, and it's calculated based on, like I said, the positions relative to one another. So if we take the green guy here and we move outside of the blue boundary, you'll see that the camera zooms out. It's kind of got that nice easing. We can keep going up until we reach our maximum zoom. Uh, if we go back within the red boundary here, you'll see that the camera starts to zoom in and finally back to full detail. The zoom effect works in both coordinates, both the X and the Y or the up and down. As you see, we go up, get that nice panning out, or zooming out, sorry. And if we move our players back together, once again, camera tracks them to full detail. Uh, otherwise, within the code itself too, in the comments you'll see, there's only a few variables really, it's quite a simple system, uh, but there's variables that you can change uh, how far out the players have to go between zooming in, zooming out, the panning speed of the camera, as well as the zoom in and zoom out speeds. Otherwise, um, yeah, just like I said, a really simple system that was inspired by the Super Smash Brothers series. Feel free to use this in any of your assets, and thank you for watching this video.